everyone, Harriet here. Hope you're doing okay. Today is part two of the unboxing figures special. Uh, I'd say it's a special for now because these are a build up of figures I've collected but I haven't had a chance to open, so I'm opening them just for you, for you to have a look at. So you get first hand detail of what the figures look like and if you want to get them. Um, so these figures are from Toys and Masks. I got these at MCM Comic Con in May or Expo, as what I still call it. They did blind boxes for elite and basic figures so free basics were 15 pounds and free elite were 20 which is fantastic because the blind boxes there was an aj styles one available i didn't get sadly but the first three you saw in my first video uh and the next three are coming up now so without further ado let's get unboxing okay first and it is from the elite collection flashback now, this is one I didn't think I'd ever expect to get, but I am actually happy I did, and it is of the 123 Kid. Um, if you don't know, it is X-Pac, uh, but this is what he was known as when he first started in WWE. I think he did have other names as well, but 123 Kid he was known for because... Uh what do you call it? He he yeah he uh, he pinned Razor Ramon on his debut on Monday Night Raw, and that's why he became famous as he is. Um, so he is got the, he has got the tag team title which I don't have actually. Just looking up there, I have the uh, the heavyweight championship. I have the NXT and the Divas. I have two uh, un uh, heavyweight championships actually. I've got uh, Seth and Roman holding it. I'm hoping to get the uh, S not Seth uh, Finn Balor SummerSlam one because he has the Universal Championship. But uh, Anyway, without further ado, let's unbox this. So this is the front, and that is the back with all the other elites you can get with that series. So that's what he looks like without the packaging around him. So he, as you can see, he has one, two, three uh, all around his ring gear. He has one, two, three kid on the front, and on the back he has his uh, knee pads. He has a, a fantastic smirk on him. I'm guessing that's the smugness after beating Razor Ramon on Raw. I can't remember if he was heel or face. Um... In, in the match, but uh, no, X Park was, was heel. But that is really cool. And also, the championship, the tag team champ, that's really well detailed. I really like that. Hopefully, the camera can focus in on it. So, that's another tag, or uh, that's another championship I now own. I'm hoping to get. Oh, I think Roman Reigns comes with the United States Championship sometime soon. I'm definitely getting that because you know where they're from. <laughs> um, so, that I really like that. The colours very popping as well very well articulated i just love the smirk more than anything i just like the oh yeah that sort of thing <laughs> okay next we have owen r shyster or otherwise known as irs now i <laughs> again i didn't think i'd ever own a figure like this but I i'm glad i do because i'd usually just go for the usual figures um but this is irs he comes with his glasses and a briefcase. If you don't know who IRS is, he uh, is the father of Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt. Now, if you didn't know that, that is your resting fact for the day. This is also part of the uh, Elite Collection flashback. So that's the front, and that is the back. Uh, what I like, he has, you can see it just about his IRS logo on his shirt, but we will get to that. I'm just going to quickly unbox this and we'll have a look. That's better because the suspenders were kind of like that drooping a bit so i fixed it up um so i will put the glasses on in a minute but i just wanted to show you you can take the uh, suspenders off there is a, a clasp at the back so if you just want to unclip it and then undo it you can do so with his little briefcase what does it look like we open it up well it's not like money in the bank so there's nothing in there <laughs> um his glasses where did i put the glasses there we are um these are adorable actually i've never uh, seen glasses before <laughs> on a you know, like with a resting figure, uh, I think I could just get them up. Unfortunately, the um, the frames are a bit wonky. Um, but that's what it looks like with the glasses on. He kind of, I don't know. It looks like they're busted a little bit. I I don't think I'm gonna get them any better than that, unfortunately. Um, so that is IRS. So with his tie, I, I think I'm hoping you can see the IRS there. Let's see if we can give him to hold the the case because he was always known for carrying his case throwing money about everywhere obsessed without money literally that hence the name irs um so that is 
IRS. Again, last but by no means least, this one I'm really looking forward to, and it is the Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. I couldn't believe when I got this. I was really happy. Um, so this includes his shirts, sunglasses, and hat, and his sunglasses are actually on this time. So... I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping they're okay. Um, the other one I knew who had glasses uh, was Sasha Banks. She had her frame glasses, you know, the, the shutter frame ones. So, uh, that's why Iris was the first I saw with glasses. But some glasses are a bit different. And there he is, the one and only Randy Savage. So, like you said, you can remove his hat. You can remove his glasses. Uh, I'm going to be very... Yeah, we can remove them. Um, but, my God, his eyes are very blue. <laughs> um... I'm not going to take them off because I'm afraid they won't go back on. Excuse me, his shirt is removable so you could pull it apart by the clasps there if you wanted to. I tend to keep the shirts on because they are very difficult to put back on. As you can see with this plasticky bit, uh, I will... Uh, yeah, I think I have it. Um, colours are very poppin', has Ultimate Maniacs on the shirts, the knee pad the back of the trousers, the back of the shorts, and even the hat. So if you don't know who he is, I'm guessing you might know by now. <laughs> um, lovely colours, red and, and yellow. I think this was around the time where, um, yeah, it was the Hulkamaniac. So it was the Ultimate Warrior and then the, the Hulk Hogan when they did the whole Ultimate Maniacs thing. Um, so that is a really cool figure. Again, that's going up on the shelf with the other figures that I got. Oh my god, I love these figures. Thank you, Toys and Masks. I'm definitely going to buy these boxes from you again. I'm going to just save up my money. I'm just like, here, just take it. Give me all the boxes. <laughs> I want them all. And that's it for part two of the wrestling figures unboxing. I hope you like it. So these are the figures I got all together. They're now going up on the shelf in the shelf now very soon once I start rearranging everything. So if you like, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I shall chat to you all soon. Bye.